Expectations can create reality, with students and teachers' perceptions and expectations both reflecting and determining their achievement goals. Expectations influence the strategies used to meet these goals, the skills, energy and other resources they use to apply these strategies and the rewards they expect from making or not making this effort. Research by Cawthorgan shows that positive teacher-student relationships led by teachers who are professionally competent and empathetic produces a positive correlation on student engagement. One aspect that enables teachers to have high expectations and create positive student relationships is from the development of a strong sense of self-efficacy. Teachers must believe in their capabilities to teach students with different learning needs, engaging students so they reach their learning outcomes. The effect of teacher expectations is shown by the research that started with the classic study known as Pygmalion in the Classroom, conducted by Rosenthal and Jackson in 1965. Teachers were given fictitious test results that indicated certain students would improve academically. The results of the following year-long experiment showed that when teachers expected students to do well, they did, becoming a self-fulfilling prophecy. Along with high expectations, teachers with high self-efficacy have strong belief in their ability to help students achieve learning outcomes, and teachers who develop good student relationships through empathy and student connections are more likely to have students who are engaged in the classroom. Teacher expectations have been shown to alter a student's work ethic to reflect the teacher's expectations, with low expectations having a ne negative effect on students' self-perception and academic achievement. Students engage when they are intrinsically motivated by curiosity, interest and enjoyment, or the desire to fulfil personal goals. Where a teacher has low expectations, learning activities often reflect this and do not encourage students to think. Learning must be perceived as meaningful and the teacher acts as a facilitator that encourages students to think critically and learn independently. A study by Torf in 2008 showed how, student, how teacher expectations influenced their activity choices in the classroom. Standards were often lowered for students believed to be low achievers when research shows the benefit of higher critical thinking activities. Low expectations lead to tasks that do not engage or challenge students and impact on a student's self-perception, participation and engagement. As with the research by Rosenthal, low expectations lead to a self-fulfilling prophecy of low achievement and student disengagement. Teacher expectations are often informed by underlying biases such as gender, ethnicity and socioeconomic background, and teachers are often unaware of how these issues affect their practice. The research conducted with pre-service teachers indicated that these teachers were less likely to give higher critical thinking activities to students they perceived as having low ability, low knowledge and low motivation, when research by Zohar and David 2009 indicates that these students would benefit more from critical thinking activities. All students can benefit from higher critical thinking activities. The results of the survey conducted with pre-service teachers show the need for professional development of beginning teachers so they understand the link between activities requiring higher critical thinking and student engagement. The failure to use activities that require students to think results in lessons that fail to engage students and can lead to low motivation, participation and self-perception.